I would define food security as the ability of a country to feed itself. Kenya has faced record droughts in 2009 and 2011, resulting in severe food shortages. It is estimated that more than 3 million Kenyans suffer from malnutrition or starvation. Seasons have changed. We used to have two seasons of rain, what we call long rains and short rains. But what used to be long rains is now short rains. What used to be short rains is no rain. Drought is very frequent here in Kenya. Like last year, farmers lost most of their crops. They lost their livestock because of climate change. Uh, drought set in early, the rains delayed, farmers could not plant. Those who planted, the crops were hit by drought. In some areas, water bodies dried up. So even those who could say we shall supplement by doing some irrigation, they couldn't. The food supply in Kenya it has problems. A lot of farmers do rely on rain fed. And when uh, rains fails, that's why it's not a surprise to see there are people dying of hunger, of which is lack of food. There is no doubt maize is a staple crop in East Africa and eaten daily by Kenyans. Many here say maize is life. A maize is very, very important in Kenyan life because definitely everybody in one way or the other consumes maize for ugari, for porridge. We also export. We also uh, use maize to produce animal feeds. So maize is very important to our country. Freshco is a seed company that produces improved hybrid seeds that are drought resistant, producing higher yields of more than two times per hectare than conventional maize seeds. Root Capital has provided $200,000 in financing to Freshco since 2010. My name is uh, Captain uh, Retired James G. Karanja. I retired from the Kenya Army uh, about 11 years ago and uh, immediately started uh, this business, that is the Freshco Kenya Limited, it's a seed company. Uh, we generate revenue by uh, producing the seed, packaging it, and uh, being able to sell it uh, at, uh, at a margin. Freshco distributes its seeds through agro-dealers who are based in villages close to where farmers live and work. My role as an agro-dealer, my work is to source the product from the manufacturers or dis distributors and then come and stock it here. It makes the work easier for the farmer. They don't have to travel long distances to go look for the product. You know, when a farmer comes, walks in and asks a product by name, that's when we, you, can, you are able to tell that the product is good. So farmers come in here. We don't have to sell the product to them. They come asking for it. Root Capital made its first loan to Freshco in 2010. Limited access to, to capital uh, was uh, really very de detrimental to our business in the sense that growth was curtailed. We never knew, you know, what, 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 and we never knew what to plan for, you know, in the coming years, in the coming seasons. So the real capital loan changed the whole scenario in the sense that we are now able to plan, knowing that we can expect a friendly hand somewhere to come at the time of need. And that's the time when we're able to pay. We need to pay our growers, our seed growers, so we can collect the seed and take it to the factory for processing. Currently, we are reaching about 100,000 farmers with our products. But I would aim to get to about 300,000 farmers in the next three years. The impact of our seeds from Freshco Company to the farmers uh, is of, for one, it produces a very high quality with quantity, and the quantity is also big. This means that they improve the living standard of our farmers. Fresh Cross Seeds is a, a company that was founded by people who had a vision to make a difference. And this difference will only be realized and seen if people, Kenyans out there, those who are hungry, the malnourished, are able to get food. So if we are able to expand our production, then it means that many more farmers will be served by fresh coal and many more farmers will be able to put their hands into improved seeds.